talk about your reelection. Okay. I bugged you like a like a fly on cheese for for years, and you would never tell me if you were going to run again. And I and I have the belief that you had to put a lot of time and thought on this, and you were thinking about not running. Is that is that about accurate? I, I had many different thoughts. Uh, you know, the first thing I was thinking was was if I'm going to put in another four years, I've got to be effective. And I had to figure out a way to be effective. Uh, if I was going to be there, I wanted to make change and do things that, that, that we could get done that needed to be done. And to do that, I had to, ha I had to find a path to get to where I felt like we had a really, really good chance of doing that. Uh, and over the last couple of weeks, I, I think we, we found that path. Uh, I've spoken to leadership on several different occasions. Uh, I think they have a, a similar vision, and, and so uh, you know I think it's a, a good thing that we, we go back and, and now that we have funds, you know, for the last four years we've been struggling with funds. Uh, we now have funds that we can spend and can improve things, and, and right now it's a very important time that we set priorities for that funding as it continues to grow, and we make sure that we're putting money where it needs to be and not just throwing it to different places. So I, I did decide to run. I'm excited about it. Uh, my family's excited about it. Uh, and we're looking forward to another four years. Well, that was my question. I just want to make sure your family is happy with it. Now, you wouldn't do it without them, but that's important to get their support, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, if, if it wasn't for my wife, uh, you know, I wouldn't be doing this job in the first place. You know, being gone like we are, uh, it takes a lot of stress on the, it puts a lot of stress on the family, it puts a lot of stress on the kids, uh, it puts a lot of stress on the wife when she's got to do homework and get everybody ready for school and get everybody where they're supposed to go. Uh, without me being there. So yes, it takes a, it, it takes a family to do this and, and I'm very appreciative of my wife and kids. Well, one other thing that I think we should point out, and it's true for you as a senator, it's also true for our representatives like uh, Representative Shedd, Harbison, and so forth. This, being a legislator is not a full-time job. This is, this is a side job for you guys, right? It's supposed to be. But well, it's it, a full-time it, job, but... It, it, but yes, it, it, it takes a lot of time and it takes time away from the family and and it takes time away from basketball games, and it takes time away from different things. And, and you you've got to you know you got to set your priorities and and try to do as much as you can. But there are limitations that we do have on time. Okay. Well, as far as I know, and I, I have people bug me all day long about this. I'm not aware of anyone who's going to be running against you. That could change. We're, we're, we've got the qualifying ending coming up. I won't ask you how you're going to run. I have a pretty good idea how that is. But uh, if you are opposed, are you ready for that? I'm ready for it. And like I said, I've, I've always said that, that I'm going to do the best job I can for the citizens and then let them decide who whether I go back or not. Uh, the, the one thing that I, that I do care about very deeply is the people in this, in this community. And, and it's, it's important for us to continue to grow and continue to do very well.